Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Being here today is a moment of joy for me, in which I can pass on some more teachings to you. I hope you are enjoying it, all the beings you are meeting. It is important that you hear these stories, it is important that you understand what is going on in each of their hearts. One thing is certain and universal, everyone is here for love. No one complains about being away from home for so long, no one complains about the conditions of the battles, no one complains, because they are doing something for a people they don't even know, for a people who may not accept them. What counts in each person's mission is exactly unconditional love. It's providing a service, it's being at the service of others, helping others. It's like the being who was here yesterday commented, as you rise, as you pass through the dimensions, there are no longer inferior purposes in the path of a soul. There is only one purpose, to emanate love. And helping a brother is the greatest and most sublime way of emanating love for others. You will get there. Each of the souls that are here now will reach these pillars one day, within each one's journey. As you are passing into another dimension, with the human consciousness that you have, you will notice a lot of difference. Their minds and hearts will rarely emanate feelings other than love. Feelings are always a function of the whole and a function of helping others. I've said it here a few times and it's worth remembering, those whose minds insist on resonating old feelings, who do not feel fully satisfied with the new environment, with the new way of life, will have the chance to return to the kingdom. Previous. Not on this planet. They will be taken to other orbs, to continue and mature their minds, so that one day they will only be able to resonate with love. You keep trying to understand, trying to imagine, how each process happens. I would tell you that you have to have just one certainty, that everything that is done has the hand of God the Father or Mother, that is, there is a lot of love involved. No one tortures, no one imprisons, no one keeps anyone isolated so they can learn a lesson. Yes, there are treatments. Souls that cannot maintain those elevated feelings are not immediately banished from the planet. There is a whole treatment to be done, so that it can cure everything that it was unable to cure, before evolution. I can tell you that the success rate in these treatments is immense, because exactly a lot of things, that soul took that was not treated. And with the treatment, that problem being treated, the soul no longer resonates those feelings. So don't worry about details, how it will be, how it will stop being. Just think about this, it will be fantastic, it will be wonderful, because you will have things that you never had here. You will have access to technologies that you never imagined. Will it be a new stage of life? Yes it will be, with everything new. It's as if you are being reborn, learning to live. The only difference is that you already know how to walk and talk. And this is another point. You will begin to be trained in telepathy. And little, as time goes by, they will use their voice little. Thoughts are the truest sources that exist. Words are mere waves emitted and often do not convey reality. You talk to please each other, but inside, it's nothing like that. So, there is no sincerity in what is said. Now the thought, there is no way for you to put on makeup, there is no way for you to lie. So the evolution of the soul consists of talking through thought. So everyone is true, there is no deception, there are no lies, there are no attempts to manipulate others. It's a new world, a new way of living. Telepathy is a gift that all souls have. So, when you evolve into the fifth dimension, you will be able to practice it because your soul already knows it. Those who get confused at first, we will have training, so that everyone can be well, everyone can know how to connect only with whoever they want, otherwise it will be a revolution in their minds, everyone talking at the same time. This is all already foreseen. Each of you will go through an adaptation process. 
No one will be taken immediately to the fifth dimension to start living there. There will be a period of adaptation for your body, your mind, and your soul. This is all already fully built and adapted for this purpose. Why worry? If you trust, I don't even say in us, they trust in a greater God, in a God who is pure love, in a God who is pure giving, why worry? Why try to understand, what will happen? I understand that you were created to be afraid of everything you don't know. I understand, we all understand that you are scared, fear is not enough. The vast majority are terrified, but precisely because they believe, because they trust, in everything they have seen and felt, they are ready to face it. So I just say that this is not a toy, where at every corner you will be scared. Here will be a journey, towards happiness, a journey towards harmony, a journey towards prosperity, towards plenty, towards abundance in everything. So why worry? What will you have there that will be bad? Maybe you can answer me, that what's bad is losing everything you have. I never said you would lose everything. We understand that you need many things, which are there today, in the third dimension. And whatever is good for the planet, which does not harm Gaia in the future, will be transmuted. You shouldn't worry about that. So you will have many surprises when you get there, when you enter your living spaces, and realize that many of your things are there, exactly as they were here. Many of them you will no longer see, because they were produced with materials that are extremely toxic to the planet. But don't worry about that, you will have many more options than you have here today. So it will be fun, watching you play with the possibilities. You have no idea what you will be able to create. So don't worry about that. The concern now is for each of you, to remain firm, to remain confident, despite everything that is said, despite possible battles that will still happen and are happening. We're not finished yet, we still have a lot to do. You don't understand, you think we are promising, promising, and doing nothing. You have no idea what is still happening around your planet. Not everything is clean, we still have cleaning to do. So just trust, because every time you have fear or doubt, you take that quantum of energy, which you lost through doubt, and give it to the other side. Because at this moment, they gain this energy. So never doubt, never lack faith in what we say, in relation to what is to come, in relation to your future. We understand that many things are moving forward with the appearance that they are totally dependent on a single human being. We are not sleeping, we are not swinging in the hammock, taking in the breeze. We are very attentive to everything that happens in your world. Each ruler is placed in their rightful place. And we will not let everything that has already been done by a being linked to the dark cabal fall to the ground. It may even be someone else, but it will be from the light, you have to believe that. We know exactly what is happening in your world. Some leaders are being changed. I sincerely hope that you know how to evaluate those you place as leaders. You have a terrible way of electing government officials. You don't look at what he has actually done, you just listen to false promises and believe them. It's not possible that you haven't learned your lesson yet. You are seeing the result of bad choices. You see this every day, all over your planet. So, know how to change your world. You now know how to distinguish what is right and what is wrong. They already feel the energy that the other person is talking about, use this wisdom. Listen to what is being said, with your heart, not your mind. And you will know how to choose the correct politician. Unfortunately, the vast majority allow themselves to be carried away by power, given by power. There are no pure intentions, there is only the intention to stay in power of being able to manipulate the masses, who are under his responsibility, and make history. Not really looking out for the people. So know how to listen to your heart, even the one you adore, listen to what he is going to say and make no mistake. The light is making everything very clear.